Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of May 24th, 2018. I'm Brandon Zek. I'm Rainy Knudsen. And where are we? We're in a magical <gasps> Alibaba's Cave of Wonders. We'll get to that. Anyway. We're counting down the top five art events in Texas this week. And we're going to start with number five. At the Stark Museum in Orange, Texas, it's a show of works by Paul Kane. It's called Intrepid Artist and Adventurer. We just saw the show. We just saw the show. Um, the Stark Museum, if you don't know, is a wonderful family collection in Orange, which is practically at the Louisiana border on I-10. They have lots of Western art, towels, 20th century modernism. Some really great Native American great Native American artworks stuff. and weavings. And 19th century cut glass, amazing. But this show was Paul Kane, Western artist. This show is filled with yeah. like preparatory studies. Like These small... are his little watercolors, and mm -hmm. they're really great. And so they have a couple of his nice oil paintings that are like, yeah. And then it's filled the rest of it with like little oil on paper, little watercolor pieces, studies, and it's landscapes mostly. Mm -hmm. But if some of them, my favorite pieces were studies of Native American objects like pipes, masks. Um, I just was blown away by the show. It was a treat to see it. It closes June 2nd, so you have that time. And then after that, at the Start Museum is... Yeah, it's a show of works by Don Russell, and it's mm -hmm. uh, from his Cowboys of Color. So he's been going around uh, to African-American rodeos and mm -hmm. photographing these cowboys and doing like portraits of them. Um, and you know, it's an attempt by the Stark Museum to kind of show works that the narrative of Western art normally doesn't cover, you know, people right. of color or people of color in like cowboy roles. Yeah, and these are all contemporary last couple of years uh, photographs that have been taken. So that'll be opening in mid-June and over the summer. Number four is Camru's Aram at the Fort Worth Modern. This is a focus show in the long series of focus shows that they've been doing. Aram is an artist who was born in Iran. He lives and works now in New York. And he deals a lot with re-examining the narrative of uh, non-Western art and Western art. His works, a lot of them are paintings. They're using like uh, patterns from Persian carpets and you know symbolism from the Middle East in abstract paintings and then you know it's kind of that question is it really abstract if it's a pattern that alludes to something it's very you know dealing with issues that are in art but the works look really great and it kind of has installation elements and you know other elements besides just painting. Number three this week is a show by Ashley Thomas in Austin. It's at Las Cruces. It's a show called House and Universe. Is it Las Cruces? Las Cruces. Not Las Cruces. Cruces. Okay. There's an X. X. So Las Cruces is a little store in East Austin. Uh, they used to be attached to uh, Farewell Books and they've moved around a little bit. But in their new space, they have these huge graphite drawings by this Corpus Christi based artist. And these works are really sweet. They're drawing on uh, You've Thomas's. You've seen the show, you I've, loved it. Yeah, I've seen the show. Uh, they're really great, they're very well done, they're large scale. And you know, there's something just powerful in, the, in an image of a large votive candle. You know, she's drawing objects that already ha themselves have a really strong power and a strong kind of objecthood with them. And she's transferring that into large scale depictions of them and she does it really well. Which leads us now to number two on this week's list. It's, oh my gosh, it's Tony Sonnenberg, the artist of this installation we're standing in. Hi, Tony. How's it going? I just I just was hanging out here, you know. It's so good as to one see does. you. <laughs> so you are tearing things up. Uh, I hear you're leaving Houston. I'm leaving Houston, you guys, mm. but not Texas. But all right. So if you had to pick four cities to live in in the next six to eight months, what would they be? Well, I guess in no specific order, they'd have to be Los Angeles, San Antonio, Mexico City, and Dallas. You're heading to all of those places, aren't you? I'm gonna be in all those places over the next few months. We're all jealous. All right, so what are you doing in LA? I'm going to work with the wonderful Tony Marsh and make a lot of big, um, crazy, elaborate ceramic sculptures. Um, and then after that, I've got a solo show at Saladillas at the end of August in San Antonio. Oh. And then um, I figured Mexico City's cool, so I'll go there. And then eventually I'll um, end up in Dallas, where Conduit mm. has made it my home. Yay. So. My recommendation to you guys as I leave is to go check out Glenwood Cemetery. I consider it to be one of the best sculpture parks in the city. It's a great mix of sculpture and nature. It's shaded in the summer and uh, it's the best collection of 18th and 19th century sculpture that we have in the city. And Howard Hughes is buried there. Howard Hughes is buried there. Yeah, Mr. Aviator himself. We're here. 
Oh, oh yeah. That's, this is yeah. this is your show at the Art Museum of Southeast this Texas is my in show. Beaumont. Mm -hmm. You've got a week left to see it, guys. So see there's it still now. time. I was thinking um, I wanted the anticipation, excitement of a stage set, but I wanted the glamour and the language from a still life. So I just kind of put those two together, and that's what you've got here. So. But there's a celebration of crumminess too, like paper plates and bits and bobs from the dollar store. The well, I, there's just, I think it's just, it's eliminating context so that high becomes low and low becomes high and they all become one. They all just become fancy. And the rest of you all, go see some art. Go see some art. Yeah, definitely.